you're seeing this video right now, I want to encourage you, will you please share this with somebody, a friend, a family member, send it to somebody today because this video, somebody needs to see this. You and me, we're going to be standing before God one day. And so many people are going to hear the words, depart from me, I never knew you. And then those people are going to say, wait, wait, wait. And God's going to say, no, it's too late. I tried. I tried to reach you. I tried to get you to come to me. I sent so many people your way to help you and you pushed them away. I sent so many random videos across your social media feed to encourage you and to empower you, but you kept on scrolling through. You kept deleting them and saying, oh, whatever, this is, doesn't mean anything. You kept pushing me away when I was trying to have a relationship with you. And some of those people are going to say, but God, I prayed for people. I fed the homeless. I, I went to church on Sundays. I'm a good person. And he's going to say, I never knew you. Friend, this video is not to scare you. This video is not to, to make you fearful. But this video is to be a heart check for you. Do you have a true, genuine relationship with God? Do you know him? Well, Michaela, yeah, I go to church every week. But do you know him? Duh, I pray for people every day. But do you know him? I read the verse of the day on, the, on my Bible app. But do you know Jesus? And friend, you may be watching this right now and you're about to click off this video because you could care less. And you know what? If you choose to reject him even now, when you're standing before him in heaven, he's going to say, do you not remember that video that came across your screen? That was trying to encourage you to receive me then? Depart from me. I don't know you. Friend, this moment right here, God wants to know you. My question to you today is, do you want to know him? Maybe some of you watching this, you say, Michaela, I know Jesus. I have a relationship with God. I'm saved. But I've kind of slipped away from God. I'm not as close to him as I once was. I want to invite you right now to say this prayer with me. God, thank you. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die for me. Thank you, Jesus, for being beaten for me. Thank you, Jesus, for raising from the grave for me. I'm so sorry for all the wrong I've done in my life. Please forgive me. Come live in my heart and be Lord of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, the Bible says that in heaven, they are rejoicing because a, a brother or a sister just returned home. <laughs> so praise God. But, but it doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop here. Your relationship with the Lord just begun. You got to get into the word of God, which is the Bible. That's one of the biggest ways God chooses to speak to us. Get into his word. Spend time with him. Get into his presence. Worship him. Even if it's five minutes before you go to work or before you go to school or before you start your day, give God time. Because I don't know about you, but when I get to heaven, I want to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. <laughs> Praise God. I love you, friend. If any of you need prayer or just need someone to talk to as far as encouragement, things like that. Reach out to me on Instagram. I'll put it in the description box below. Let's connect. Let's grow closer to God together.